do you see yourself um, going towards um, of being a you know content creator? Like, how, how do you see yourself compared with um, people like Brandon Bichard or um, um, speak up a little? How how do you see yourself uh, compared with uh, uh, peop, uh, industry leaders such as Brandon Bichard and um, the the like? You mean like, like content like creating? You content. create the content, yeah. you package it, yeah. you deliver it, uh -huh. you, you gather your your author, yeah. online marketer, yeah. seminar leader. Yeah. I have a politically correct answer to give you, or I have the not so politically answer to give you. <laughs> what does that so, so mean? <laughs> so, which one you want to hear? Both. Both? <laughs> Both? <laughs> Let, huh? <laughs> Don't you? Okay, I'll give you the politically correct answer first. Okay. Uh, I think we're all different. I know Brandon. I know a lot of the other speakers. Yeah. Uh, I think what they do is great, and they serve a certain segment in the marketplace. And I have the materials. I, I buy everybody's stuff, so I yeah. learn from all of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and no, I but my, my question is, that do, you, do you see yourself wanting to go into that direction? Or are you more of a, like a, you know, off the, st uh, you know, behind the scene and just running company, run a company, companies, yeah. and do your stuff, yeah. just make money? First of all, if you have been to my website, hmm. if you actually go through my website, yeah. a lot of these guys, they learn from me. I'm behind the scenes, you can see all the top trainers, speakers. World champion, Toastmasters, learn from me. Mm. That's number one. You see all the testimonials on my site. I was doing what they were doing eight years ago. The products, the books, the information products, packaging. Yeah. I did all that shit years ago. And I got out of it three years ago. Now, do you know why I got out of it? Take a guess. It's just having a conversation. You learned this whole thing? No, no, but why did I get out of it? Um, and I've made millions, I mean millions, of packaging information, product launches, all this stuff. Why'd they get out of it? Is it because of real estate? No, no. I got out of it because I see the industry is dying. From where? The Wh industry is dying. Where did you get that data? From everybody that's in the same industry. Hmm. Anyone that's doing event from 1,000 people, 500, Next year, 300, 100. Cost of acquiring customers is getting higher. Internet basically killed that business mm. because there's so much information for free. That's called the information marketing business. I know that, mm. I get it, yeah. yeah. So that's the problem with that. And I can see, and I, one point I was doing a lot of that. I was traveling the world and was offering my training and all that, but two things bother me. Number one, people who buy the information, what I noticed, most people don't use it. Also true, yeah. They buy the information and they never and use it. Refund it, maybe, but they never use it. That's number one. <laughs> number two, number two, and this is not politically correct. I was sick and tired of all those fucking gurus, because most of them are fucking scams. Teaching you this, how to buy real estate. Real estate guys teaching you how to buy real estate. Haven't bought a fucking real estate in his life. Yeah, that's very dangerous. Okay. Yeah. Guys who are teaching how to invest in stocks don't buy stocks. They make money selling you how to make money shit. Yeah. So I was sick and tired of that circle. So I'm like, fuck you guys. So I, w I got out. Mm -hmm. That's really the not, not political answer. Mm -hmm. I know a lot about that industry. Trust me on that. So I, I got out. And I said, you know what? I make my money. Even when I was training, 90% of my income comes from doing what I teach. Mm -hmm. So then I said, I, I'm better off. I don't want to be associated with that circle. I just say, you know what? I'm just going to do my own thing, mind my own business. So now when I do teach, I do see myself as a thought leader in, and a content creator. I don't teach, I don't charge my stuff. You guys know, all my stuff is free online. Because you don't have a particular program, right? I don't. Maybe in the future you will, I but... I will never have a program. No? No, I'll give all my stuff away. No, well, I do this. Hmm. No, I have one. Actually, I'm going to take one of my, some of my programs from the past. I'm going to upload to YouTube that I charge thousands of dollars for. I just upload to YouTube, it's all free. That's what I'm planning to do actually next month. Because I don't need to make the fucking money from selling those type of shit. I make <coughs> money growing my companies and from my businesses. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's just my tool. That's just my path. So they do what they do, which is great. I do what I do, which is also awesome. 
you don't quite get it yet, I know, because you don't quite know the industry. Yeah, not yeah. that well. Yeah. yeah. 10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.